I, did you enjoy that? Yes, oh. yes. a lot. I, I love. At first it was kind of, I think my tension, the choice of the word tension is I felt tense. Like I didn't want to change it. Why not? Because it felt like everything, it was dominoes mm -hmm. sort of. If you knock one down, then everything else doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I felt like I was disturbing <coughs> something that was intact. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, I didn't really, um, it was not reflecting my real life or anything, but I was just trying to make fun of it. Because there is like leave, I was thinking, okay, how about thinking about animals? And especially now I'm teaching animals. <laughs> it just came out <laughs> to my mind. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's kind of fun to do such things. To play. With this you weren't afraid to yeah, play. Yeah, to play it. Life. Yeah, and I'm trying to put myself into a middle schooler head since mm -hmm. this is what they want to do. They want to play yeah. and make fun of things, but mm -hmm. they are still Smart. learning. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and it's a creative kind of fun. It's yeah. not mocking, but mm -hmm. it's, it's playing with mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the way that small children often play with language. Mm -hmm. And a large part of this is really um, encouraging learners not to be afraid of text and to think of a text as something that you can use, mm -hmm. that you can play with, rather than something that you have to understand in its entirety. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, this activity is something you, you don't have to do this with poetry. You could do it with a newspaper article. Mm -hmm. For low-level learners, you could do it with a single sentence from a, a, a newspaper or any source, actually. Um, and what I like about it is, is exactly that process that, that Kathy mentioned of um, a new meaning kind of beginning to emerge from the old meaning. And we, we noticed here, and you know, we, um, there are a number of points where, for example, here we've got falls spinning. And I think it's Fatima suggested falls slowly. So you've actually got a grammatical change there, but it still makes sense. Mm -hmm. And so learners are also learning at the level of meaning and at the level of grammar how you build texts and how you can rebuild them and change them. Mm -hmm. And one of the things about poetry is poetry is the process of putting words together that have never been put together mm -hmm. before. And it's a process which actually every human being has inside them. And so what we're doing is kind of trying to recapture that ability to put words together that we as adults don't think belong together anymore. When we work with materials, we can also think of the materials themselves as the starting point for whatever we do in the classroom. And so our goal in the class is not to learn articles or to learn vocabulary. Our goal is to engage with this text. Mm -hmm. Use the text as a starting point mm -hmm. and think of the text as the, the initial inspiration for whatever you might do with it. And it's a kind of a different way around to mm -hmm. thinking of always, I need something for X. You should work with material that you like mm -hmm. and that you think your students will like. So let's assume that you like the story. So then you say, how can I use this story in my, cl in my classroom? Mm -hmm. How can I help my learners to, mm -hmm. to read it? Mm -hmm. Why are we learning language in the first place? Why even bother? Mm -hmm. For me, the reason that I learned Polish was precisely so that I could read texts like this. Mm -hmm. And so for me to take a text like this or another text into the classroom is really saying, look, this is a great text. I want to share it with you. I want us to all enjoy it. This is the goal of language learning. The goal of language learning is not to learn the past tense mm. or the grammar or the vocabulary. The goal is to use the language for something. And the, most <coughs> the, the, the more we can bring those kinds of goals into the language classroom, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the more authentic the whole experience is going to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been said that our goal as language teachers, and I really like this formulation, is to improve the quality of experience in the classroom. Mm -hmm. And if we think of it that way, not to teach them vocabulary, to teach them grammar, to teach them this or teach them that, to improve the quality of experience. Mm -hmm. That includes having fun, it includes being challenged, it includes having your creativity stimulated. Mm -hmm. All of those things improve the quality of experience. I have a, one quick comment. Yeah. Uh, the most of uh, the college language classes uh, uh, is designed for testing, actually. Mm. Yes. So, a lot of uh, college students expect uh, from language class uh, is getting a good grade yeah. <laughs> and right. uh, fulfill their language requirement. So uh, I totally agree with your the, the this approach and uh, uh, I really want to do 
I want to teach my students in this way, mm. but uh, it's very difficult to uh, evaluate uh, student, you know, performance uh, because, right. you know. The, it's true that these kinds of activities often make us rethink mm -hmm. our assessment practices. That's, That's right. true. Mm -hmm. It's also true that all of us work under particular constraints. Mm -hmm. My assumption is that every teacher has a little bit of wiggle room, a little bit of time mm -hmm. in the week when he or she can do something that he or she chooses to do rather mm -hmm. than that has been imposed. So mm -hmm. first of all, we have that room for maneuver. Mm -hmm. Some of us have more, some of us have left, but, uh, less, but I think most people have some. Mm -hmm. The other thing is that any teacher wants to grow and develop. And the really crucial question is, what direction do you want to go in? Mm -hmm. And my hope is with introducing these kinds of ideas, my hope is that the teachers that I work with will develop their own sense of what direction they want to take their teaching in. Mm -hmm. We're all slightly frustrated by our context, sometimes very frustrated. Mm -hmm. But again, each of us has a room in which we can do things slightly differently. Mm -hmm. And the big question is, what direction are we going to take? So I think that's how I see this. This, mm -hmm. uh, you know, much as I would love to revolutionize all of language mm -hmm. teaching, um, I know that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. But I think within the constraints that we work within, it's nice to know yeah. what direction we should I be I totally agree with that.